For the fifth night in a row, people gathered in front of the Vigo County Courthouse. Last night included a candlelight vigil. News 10's Sarah Lehman was there, and new for you this morning, she explains why protesters say they'll continue every day. We are peaceful. We are peaceful. We are peaceful. A simple message. I'm trying to have our voices heard. But a big part of getting our voices heard is making sure that we do it right. To make sure the message they're preaching. Allow us to spread the love. Allow us to spread the unity and to be together on one accord. Is cast in a good light. I'm from this community. My kids play Little League here. Like, I love this community. So I'm trying to be out here to make sure that, like, you know, some of the some of the things that can be like avoided or avoided, like it stays positive and it stays focused. Shane Edmond lives right here in Terre Haute. He says he's not only asking for peace from the protesters, but from officers too. And I pray that God will, you know, bless the officers and the community to, to treat us rationally. You know, I understand the rational behavior. I understand violence. That's no good. But if we're being peaceful, then just treat us. You know, we love this community too. We know a lot of them. We're all from the same community. This isn't a bigger city where these are cops that aren't from here. You know, they're neighbors. So I'm just hoping for the best on all, all sides. Protesters of all ages and backgrounds have been out to support. Edmund says he's been out a few times. Wednesday, he brought his daughters. I want them to see this, and I want them to know that this is, this is a historic time. A mother from Terre Haute brought her son. She says she's protesting for him. So I'm only here to protest out of fear for my children and out of fear for them being able to have equality. And to Edmund, being peaceful means more than just spreading the message. Earlier when they were all walking, you were saying, let's be peaceful, let's be peaceful. What does that mean to you? It means everything. It means lives. Protesters say they're going to continue to be in front of the courthouse every day. They say they don't want people to forget their message. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10.